I'm Andy. This is Who Fan. Let's begin. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my Doctor Who product review. Now, as you can see, this is a 10th Doctor Mr. Potato Head. Uh, there you have the Mr. Potato Head logo in the top left hand corner. And the classic diamond um, Doctor Who logo uh, there along with the BBC logo. At the bottom of the packaging you have the uh, portrait of the 10th Doctor and obviously the years that he was the 10th Doctor from 2005 to 2010. As we go round the box you have a, a little description there uh, along with a picture of the 10th Doctor and it says the 10th Doctor hopping the TARDIS with Mr. Potato Head as he pays homage to the last known survivor of Galley Fry. You see what I did there, fried potatoes. Doctor Who in his light-hearted 10th incarnation. Now on the back of the box we have a picture of Mr. Potato Head in the 10th Doctor's uh, costume there, he's got his uh, sand shoes as the 11th Doctor calls them, his suit, his red tie, his coat, he's got his sonic screwdriver there and you've got a little quote um, that says a big ball of wibbly wobbly timey wimey mashed potato stuff and then at the bottom of the box there you have obviously the standard Doctor Who timeline that's um, on all of the diamond packaging and as we go around the box again, you've got the you've got a picture there of normal Mr. Potato Head as he, as everybody knows him. Again, with some bit of information there about finding the toy manufacturer on Facebook, etc., etc. So there we have it. So that's what it looks like in the box. Now it's time to take it out so the there box. There he is out of the box, everyone. As you can see, signature tenth Doctor hair. Uh, he's got a sonic screwdriver. Uh, his red plimsolls that um, the 10th Doctor used to wear with his blue suit and his coat. Now if I'll just rotate him round so you can have a good look at him all the way around. So his coat on, etc. Now as with all Mr. Potato Heads you can take the parts off of it. So take his, take his arms off. You can take his hair off. You can take him out of, out of there. So that's basically that's basically what you get with the Mr. Potato Head 10th Doctor. Now there is three other Mr. Potato Heads that you can get Doctor Who ones. You can get two Daleks and you can also get the 11th Doctor. Now obviously with all Mr. Potato Heads all the parts will be compatible with each other which I believe would be quite fun uh, for a kid to put all the different parts on and make a, I don't know, mutant doctor or mutant Dalek. Well, the Daleks are mutants anyway, but... Um, if you're an avid, hardcore Doctor Who collector, I would recommend this because it's just good to have in the collection. I mean, you know, we've all seen the figures, the 5-inch, the 3.75 range. Uh, we've all seen the sonic screwdrivers that you can buy. But... You know, I like the quirky Doctor Who merchandise. Now, I thought this was absolutely brilliant when I when I got this. Um, it looks quite good on the shelf. Um, I believe it was twelve ninety nine, and I think it was from Forbidden Planet. Uh, I didn't actually buy it myself; someone bought it for me. But I believe it was for, from Forbidden Planet. But you can also get it from Toys R Us. Um, yeah, it's quite good, and um, you know, it does exactly what it says. It's a Mr. Potato Head in Doctor Who form. Um, there's not much else to say, really, apart from, uh, you know, as I said, if you're an avid Doctor Who fan uh, and a avid Doctor Who merchandise collector, then it's worth, definitely worth getting. Um, yeah, so that's it, really, to be honest. It's short and sweet, I know, but there's not much to say because it is only a Mr. Potato Head. Um, Thank you for watching. Now, please, please, please hit that like button and please subscribe for further and future Doctor Who merchandise review, news, and other things. Thank you. But wait, there's more.
Yes, that's right everyone, we have bonus content on this video, as it's my first Doctor Who related video on my Doctor Who channel, I thought I would review this Titan figure. Now it's not just any old Titan figure, it is a convention exclusive 10th Doctor. So let's get this review underway, so I'll take it out of the packaging. Now, I thought this was quite a good figure in all fairness and you may recall seeing the 10th Doctor in this costume in the Cyberman episode, the Rise of the Cybermen at Age of Steel and also Voyage of the Damned and I believe the 10th Doctor was also in his tuxedo in the Lazarus experiment in series 3 I believe uh, but yeah so there, there is everyone. It's quite a good figure, actually. It's quite quirky. I like stuff like this, as I said, just. Um, you know, it's different. And obviously you get to see them in their uh, different costumes as well. Let me just bring that a bit closer so you can all see it. Um, it's got a standard articulation for a Titan figure. Head turns around. Its arms move. And also it comes with his little accessory. And there's not really much to say about it. It's just... The tenth Doctor Titan figure in a in his tuxedo. Uh, it's quite it's quite a good figure. It's quite nice to have in your collection if you're a avid Doctor Who collection, uh, avid Doctor Who collector either. So yeah, you know he's got his uh, his black plimsolls, Converse, or whatever you want to call them on. So I'll see, yeah, that's basically it, really. Um, quite good. Um, I'm going to start collecting the Titan figures because they are quite quirky. Well, good, yeah. So that's it, everyone. Thank you very much for watching, and please subscribe and like. Thank you.